हेलो गाइस इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव हाइब्रिड एंड हायरार्किकल इनहेरिटेंस एंड दिस ट्यूटोरियल इज इन द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल सो लेट्स सी सो हाइब्रिड इनहेरिटेंस मींस व्हाट वी कैन से वी हैव यू कैन से जस्ट लाइक वी हैव द मोर देन वन इनहेरिटेंस इन द प्रोग्राम वी कैन कैप्चर more than one inheritance we can combine more than one inheritance that will become the hybrid inheritance now here we will see hierarchical inheritance in programming point of view it's very important here we get one base class and it will take three derived class so here the simple thing is that it is having more than one derived class and uh, which can take the data from the base class so now here in the practically we will see how we can implement the hierarchical inheritance and about hybrid inheritance then that you can do it from your side so now here we go in the practical session so here student first i need to take the class and the class name is simply a and then here we have to take one method suppose the method is dis and here in this method uh, dis a and uh, in that method as usual you have to write cell first and uh, then i am just taking a simple statement here so our statement is so here our statement is simply i am putting the message a so that's the coding for the class a and uh, then i am going to have next class in the program that will be the derived class of a so here in the bracket as usual you have to use that class a so it means that b will be derived and a is a base class and uh, this code i have to just repeat it so i just copy this code so here i pasted this code and uh, here the message will be b so in this way uh, you can have more than uh, one derived class so i just one more time copy this entire code for saving my time and uh, then i have to paste it here and then as we how to use hierarchical inheritance in the program so that class will be c and here as usual we have to write a and it will become c so what we are having here this is the base and these are the two derived class okay so one more changes that i forgot here display b and display c okay so these are the methods in the program and now it's a time for the execution of the program so here you have to as usual take a derived object because we always prepare derived object so i am taking the object of b and this is what the object of b and it will it can take the data from b itself and a itself so what we can write here b dot display a so b dot display a means it will take the data from that class a and you can also write here b dot display b but here we cannot write b dot display c okay because uh, this class is having connectivity with a and this class is having connectivity with a it doesn't have the connectivity with b okay got it so here by using a same procedure you have to create the object top next class next derived class and our next derived class is nothing but the c okay so here our object i am changing its name c c okay and here you have to write here c dot display because it can take the data from class a and then here c dot it will take the data from display c okay it will not take the data from this class b so we will just check the output step by step 
so you just uh, observe this output he has here b is the object of b and we have written display a means first output will be a display b means next output will be b then c is the object taking data from a so first output will be a then display c means we are getting the output from the derived class itself but here one thing you note it down by using this object you cannot take the data from b suppose here if i write here c dot c dot display b okay so now here when we run the code you see what will happen it's quite interesting you see the error is coming okay because i already told you the derived classes can take the data from base and these derived uh, classes cannot take the data from each other so this is what the limitations here so i hope dear student you understood this hierarchical inheritance and you have to practice this as well as you have to practice hybrid inheritance there you can use more than one inheritance in the code so thanks for watching this tutorial thank you